All right, you guys, so today we're doing a day in the life with my boy Walking Rich. What's the deal? Yeah, so look, if you guys don't know who this is, this is one of the biggest wheelchair YouTubers out there doing this thing in the golfing community. Shout out to my guy right here, look. He in a pair of golf right now, which he about to tell us a lot about right now. So, bro, tell us about what you're doing and also about this device that you're doing right now, look. Rich here, and we're here at Westchester Golf Course, and we're here in the Paragolfer. The Paragolfer, for those who don't know, is an adaptive golf cart, and it allows you to actually get in a golf position from a wheelchair. So as you guys know that me and my boy Wheelchair Kev, we are wheelchair bound and we're not able to stand up. So therefore we're not able to get in the golf position. But this chair right here eliminates most of our problems as seated golfers. It allows us to get into a standing position and really actually take on a golf position and golf just like an able-bodied person. We got one right here. I'm about to get into right now, so let's go ahead and check it out. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, hey, look, bro. You got content. Pose. Everything is content, and content is key. Yup. All right, let's do it. I'm about to stand up. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let me see. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, let's go. Appreciate it. I ain't been on, I ain't been up this high in a little minute though. Mm -hmm. What? So I just stand straight up? Yep. Do I lean forward? No, just just you know stand up regular. Okay. Let the machine do it. Let the machine do it. Trust it. Ooh. I ain't been up this high in a minute. Oh, what? You know what I'm saying? Now lean into it. Trust okay. it, man. Trust it. Yeah. That moment ain't going nowhere, really. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> uh, Let's go. I'm a little nervous though. Hey, look, if my boy Rich can do it. I can do it, but just to let you know, if he can do it and I can do it, that means you can do it too. Yeah. All right, let's go. So look, before we get into the golfing thing, let me tell you what else my boy do. My boy, not only does he golf, he has his own car detailing service. Look, this him right here. Look, this is car, this is car detailing stuff right here. Look, he will pull up on you, wheelchair and all, and detail your car. So shout out to the guy walking rich. Look, he a straight hustler, all right? If he can do it, you can do it. He out here getting to it out here in LA. All right. So again, if he can do it, you can do it. Let's go, man. Oh, uh, shit. When we come out of here, shit, we can come out here and detail this one. Like, and get some content of me actually, like, detailing some shit. And then we can do this shit like, hey, you know what I'm saying? It's Walking Rich. And, you know, this is one of my many businesses that I operate. You know what I'm saying? It's a detail company. Today, we're not going to be detailing cars. We're detailing the Paragolf. Because that means you can saw me with your cab, man. You hey, seen that? Hey, this the hardest club to hit, bro. So this is gonna be nothing like what you tried. All right, let's do this. Y'all like, ready? Like throw it. Yeah. My boy Walker Rich showing me what's up. Let's go. All right, man. Stand up first. Stand, stand up, up first. Stand up. Oh, all right, man, man, man. And approach the ball. Approach the ball. You ready? Yeah. About to fly. Kill it. Nice. Ooh, let's go. I told you. All right, let's go, brother. I told you about to kill that. Let's and we're go. not gonna do this every hole. No, no, no. We're just doing like. So I'm gonna get him a wedge side, a chip shot, a putt. We out here, baby. Let's go. The way I hit that one, I, that was nice. Tell us about that golf etiquette. Golf etiquette, you know, it's all about just being a gentleman and respecting the, ne the next person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody talking in your backswing. You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's just, it's just about respect. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So that's what golf etiquette is all about. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Attire, respect. You get what I'm saying? Okay. It's just like any etiquette. Like whether it's like table etiquette, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's uh, just about mannerisms. Ooh, okay. And it's very little movement. Like I'm just from the shoulders. Like I'm letting it go from the shoulders. Oh, I'm not man. doing this. I'm not doing none of that. Like I'm here. Like lock all this in. That V stays there. You gotta keep up the pace of play. Luckily they ain't playing slow as shit. So they're on the tee box and we're on the tee box right yeah, now, we, so we're we got good. A full in front of us right now. Huh? We got a full hole. Yeah, so we are playing a little behind, <laughs> yeah. but luckily they're playing behind. Yeah. If they was waiting on the tee box right now, we'd have to be like, we'd have to let them, we'd have to let them go through, or we'd have to pick up our place and skip a hole. Okay. So that's the eight. You want that eight to be in the back of your. Uh, you know, it's the etiquette, right man. There. You don't want their your ball 
or somebody else's ball to fall in one of them footprint divots and then they got a hit out of that you get what i'm saying so you want to smooth it out keep everything smooth so as people put their ball in there they got a nice law light to hit off of it's already hard to hit out of there you get what i'm saying so yeah. when you hitting out of somebody's footprint it makes it even harder mm -hmm. so i'm gonna give it a little little gas you gotta give it some gas so it can get up there all right see where i'm lined up lined up right at the flag you just want to create that pendulum you know what i'm saying envision where you want to go put the ball back you always just can move the ball back forward in your stance but you don't want to move closer to the hole you cheat now Ooh, Ooh, got that one and that was for par that's a par so that means i hit it in three it's a three hole you got three shots to hit for par I hit it in three. Like a lot of golfers are jerks, bro. You get what I'm saying? They don't care that you're in the wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? Golf is like one of them uptight sports. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of jerks in golf. Well, I have one guy, he, he bought me my chair. So I have one of these chairs, right? A sponsor yeah. bought it for me. Society 61. I don't know if you ever seen me working with them, mm -hmm. but they basically wanted me to stop the whole walking rich and wheelchair gang shit. And I'm like, bro, I can't do that. I'm like, you're asking me to do something that's like, you basically asking me to cancel out my pur purpose yeah. for a $30,000 chair, sell my soul basically. You know what I'm uh, saying? And I'm like, you know, if that's what it takes for me to have to get a chair, I get a chair back. It was all decked out and paint, painted all gold and shit. It was nice. You took it back? Yeah. I gave it back. All right, man. So we ended it today with my man Walking Rich. It's the deal. Bro, look, I had a good time out there on the, on the range, man. Got to learn a lot about you. Got to, you know, see what you all about when it comes to this golf and stuff. Seeing what you're doing as far as like with the with the wash and stuff. You know, bro, look, you're a real inspirational person out there, man. Bro. I really appreciate it, bro. bro. You inspired me. I'm pretty sure everybody everybody watching right now, you're gonna inspire them too. So appreciate let them know where they can follow you at. Yeah, you can follow me at Walking Rich. Um, or you can visit my documentary, Walking Rich, The Story of Perseverance. That's pretty much all my handles across social media. So if you type in Walking Rich on Google, I'm sure you'll find me. Man, look, I'm looking forward to coming coming back out here and seeing a day in the life of, you know, uh, a paralyzed person that has a, yeah. A uh, paralyzed uh, yeah. entrepreneur, uh, father, and, exactly. you know, just an independent wheelchair user. Exactly. And, and also a car detailer. No, for sure. Bro, bro, bro. You told me you was out there detailing cars by yourself. I, I, how? Yeah, no, how? For sure. We want to find out. Well, look, I bought you some stuff. Appreciate it, brother. I bought you a cushion. Appreciate it. Right, Need this. This gonna help me against my pressure. Yeah, yeah. All right. And I also bought you some hand controls, man. Thanks, Slicks, man. Slicks. And look, if y'all want to order them, just hit me up at Woodcheck Cam on Instagram. I got sure. you right here, man. The same ones I be using. For sure. The same ones, brand new. For sure. And, and appreciate right that, there, brother. So. As an independent wheelchair user, brother, you know I'm gonna yeah. put these to good use, man. Oh, of course. You know whether of it's course. in my of rental course. car or uh, or my so. travel or my like, you know, I got two pair of hand controls. Yeah. And I use the best of the best, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No, so I feel, I feel you we're gonna not. we're gonna make sure these look. come to good use, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, sir, let me yeah, check sir. them out, man. Get them, get them. That's all you right there. Nah, these dope right here, all bro. All you right there. The strap right here, and, or you can switch it out for yeah. more permanent use. But I always use the quick sure. release ones right there, nah, man. No, for sure, so, brother. So about that. And they super lightweight. That's dope. All this all together weigh like five pounds. So that's dope, brother. Yeah. Carry in case when you carry it on the plane with you. That's dope. So, bro, I definitely appreciate it, bro. This gonna continue to help me. You know, propel forward as an entrepreneur, as an independent wheelchair user, bro. Of course. Of if y'all don't know, man, y'all better get y'all some hand controls, man. Because that was yeah. one of the first things that I thought about when I first got injured. Injured, I'm like, bro, I ain't going to be able to drive. I was a road runner before my injury. So just to be able to continue to be a road runner, I go to SAC every... At one point in time, I was going to SAC like every two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was a seven-hour drive that I was taking every two weeks yeah. when my mom got sick and stuff like that. So... You know, these are going to help me continue to be independent, bro. So I definitely appreciate it. And this right here is going to keep me out the hospital off them pressure floors. You know what I'm right, saying? Man. So yeah. I appreciate Definitely it, brother. Well. I appreciate sure it. I appreciate you coming I, out, man. Right. And I can't wait till you come back out and we can get on the golf course and exactly. get on the links again, yeah, brother. Exactly. Exactly, sure. man. All right, bro. Have a good one. You too. Right, we you out. Guys.